Hey everybody, this video, if you only watch one video of mine all year, watch this one, please. It's going to make you better. Critical information. I'm obviously freaking drenched. Uh, for the record, I'm pretty much almost 500 arrows for the day. Uh, just under five. You can see the grass is beat. So I'm gonna do some shooting, it's critical. The camera doesn't stop, one camera, uh, bear with me. I am very tired, but Wanted to do this one last video before dark with you guys. It's a little bit of wind, but it is variable. So I'm just gonna do this. And it'll be good information, worth the wait. Tack Utah, thank you guys, but you killed me killed me i was exhausted from down and backs and up that mountain and off that mountain and the sun and every freaking five thousand people there challenging me on the target This reminds me of my days on the team. Honestly, every shooter that's sitting at a Olympic training center or national center right now, this is another day for them. And these are, this was a decade of my life. The whole middle portion of my timeline were days like this. Come on, Dad. One more good one. One more good one. Then you guys get to learn something. I mean, my biceps even bulging out from how much I've shot today. All right, so we go down, set my bow down. This was one video live. It's just so all of you know, um, so I started competing, turned pro when I was 18 years old, 47 now. Uh, prior to turning pro, spent a ton of time experimenting, trying to learn how to shoot, going to different coaches, learning different equipment, etc. The middle portion was trying to learn what it took to be a pro and be as accurate as those guys. That was the middle portion. Then kind of end of middle portion came where I was R&D, had worked with Matt McPherson at Matthews for a long time. I've been with, just so you know, I've worked for Easton for 25 years. 25 years I've been an independent and I've been consulting. So here's a real group. 70 meters okay now during that whole middle portion of my time where i was training i was on a team my focus was how do i win medals for our team and how do i make sure our team's in the right round and how can i make sure i'm in you know getting in the shooting brackets and that all comes from groups 
didn't come from paper tuning. That was a starting point. Bear shaft, also another starting point. All this other stuff that you guys are spending time on. Listen, what matters is what's down here, okay? Here's what's important about this. That's right helical and left helical all together, okay? I have done so much testing. All the True Flight machines originally built by Norway, when those were all set up, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now Easton owns them. All those machines were based off data of trying right helical, left helical. Listen, we could have made the machines however we wanted to. One degree, two degree, three degree, four degree. There's diminishing return at max helical at longer ranges. Mid range, sure, okay? But I really want what's best for all of you. And what's critical about this, more so than anything that I'm gonna say is, for those of you out there who are in the front two thirds of your archery timeline, it is more important for you to focus on technique and practicing and having a bow that honestly can shoot a bullet hole and get out there and get in freaking reps and learn to shoot. I can do this with a shooting machine and I've done it thousands of times. It takes 10 times longer. It might be a little bit smaller for the groups but the results are the same, okay? Please, everybody, if you're new to archery, and I, I'm saying this because of how many people I shot with just last weekend alone, over a thousand, and the amount of people that had horrible arrow flight because they're chasing all these super tuning techniques, which in the end, all you want is a freaking bow that groups down here rotates groups doesn't decelerate too fast i'm here to tell you the industry is getting divided in arrows and the reality is that right there is right helical and left helical with the exact same degree and by the way yeah there's a hoyt there's wait there's a hoyt there's a matthews okay I did this with both those bows, same thing. I also changed strings to America's Best, reverse rotation, same thing. You're chasing these things that have such minimal, minimal impact that even the best of us shooters cannot see downrange. And this is where it matters most right there. That's 70 meters out here. You can see the trees moving. It's a little bit of a vari variable wind. This was live. Again, I've, I did it today with that. I did it today with that. I'm 400 in. And please, all of you out there, get better in archery by practicing. And don't go down the wormholes. I'm here to tell you, I promise you, I can shoot anything I want. Most brands would love to collab and... Honestly, I just try to give you guys the information and I try to give you guys products that will give you the best results based on, honestly, three decades of my life, one of which was struggling to actually find a coach and find information. The next was a next decade was a struggle to keep up with the best archers in the world and figure out how the heck some of these were doing this before anyone shared information. And honestly, this entire last decade of my timeline has been devoted to trial and error for all of you out there. And honestly, to give you this without talking negatively about other people's opinions, other forums, other chat rooms, all I'm here to tell you is throughout my life, most of my competing life logged 30,000 arrows plus at 70 to 90 meters and now i've literally been working for i'm working for an ai company i can't even talk about that can tell you more about this arrow information in one second than i've learned over 30 years and i still all it did was confirm what i'm telling you so please 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 get out and practice learn to shoot groups like that and when you shoot groups like that 
when you shoot groups like that, that's when you should be saying, okay, now I want to plot vein A, I want to plot vein B, I want to plot vein C. Okay, here's the one that was the best. Now I am going to do the best on angle A, B, C, figure out which one plots best out of that. Then you go to point weight for A, B, C, and continue to plot and the results are gonna be, you know what, if you're shooting good and you trust the equipment that I'm asking you to trust me with, regardless of your brand, I'm here to make you better. I promise, I promise. One last thing here, I did just wanna show you a little bit quicker look here or more detailed look, just so you know. Uh, again, right helical, left helical, do with it all you want, I'm telling you, I've done it. Uh, okay, there's a left, there's a left, and there's a left up and to the right, okay? I mean, right there is all right, okay? I did say one arrow was just a touch over, I get it, but don't, don't waste time on the details, please. I want you guys better. You're gonna get better with reps, not with, not with placebos. Trust me. The best longevity improvement of your archery life is gonna be technique and practice. I don't care if you shoot a PSE, a Hoyt, or a Matthews, or or an Elite, or a Prime, or a Bowtech, or I mean any of them. Everybody shoots good. I shoot what I like, okay? You shoot what you like, but let's all shoot groups like that.